talking to in there? Nobody. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are in London. It's the first of our many countries we're visiting. We're in London and then we're going to Paris, Amsterdam, Rome, and Spain. So we're just headed out for brunch. English breakfast because I don't think Faye's ever had one. We've tried to make it at home, right? Never. Yeah, just no, at home. Did, we, home. We made it at home. And um, guys, there's no blow dryer in her room, hence my natural mess of a hair. And she should have not washed it, but I messed up. And we're gonna take photos with my hair like this today. Great. Westminster Bridge and you guys you know what's really sad right now Big Ben is like under construction I would have loved to have that in the background of our photos yeah. oh well I'm sure we'll be back and where are we babe yeah, the Buckingham Palace <laughs> house of the Queen she actually doesn't live here whatever she stays at Windsor Castle I think Hot chocolate, everything here is like so cute. And this cupcake too. Raindrop hole in my face. How do you feel about the rain? You look shit. <laughs> it's okay, it's the first day it's rained of our trip. But tomorrow it's not raining, so tomorrow we will go to the Eiffel Tower and get cute photos. Yeah, I'm excited. We're about to have brunch at this really cute cafe. Line up to see the Mona Lisa is so crazy. Look at it. 
And there she is. And of course, there's a lineup because whenever I pick places to go to, there's always lineups. Yes, always. <laughs> but Faye's always patient and waits with me. Always do. And he's also very patient when I take a million photos before I let him eat. Yeah. I love photographing food. So apparently these are super popular here. I never looked anything up before I came. I was so tired. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyways, and then we checked it out on Instagram and like celebrities even talk about it. Yeah. yeah. It's like really popular. Yeah, you gotta try it out. Yeah. yeah. So. Answer them for sure. Yeah. You have to check it out. So we got a M&M one because it just looks better for the photo. My vlog camera died, but this is what it looks like. We waited half an hour for this, literally half an hour. This is what it's called.
and um, it's the middle of the coronavirus outbreak here and um, yeah we were supposed to go to Venice but we cancelled Venice and um, here we are and we're at the Smash Steps right now <laughs> we must teach him how to vlog so we just went to the Trevi Fountain, Fountain Trevi, Trevi Fountain, I don't even know how to say it, I think it's Trevi, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, we went there and uh, we didn't vlog because we were on the whole, we were on the phone with Expedia for two hours trying to get a refund on our hotel because we were originally supposed to stay here um, four nights, yeah. but, but we only want to do half of it because we want to get out of here and go to Barcelona where we'll feel safer. guess what they've actually put Italy all of Italy on a lockdown and we didn't realize until about like 5 30 p.m. that all the food and like the restaurants and bars are gonna be closing at all the restaurants and bars close at 6 p.m. and then they won't be opening again till tomorrow morning and we got like super hungry and everywhere was closed so um we ordered McDonald's to our room. McDonald's is actually closed, but they are still delivering. So that's what we got, and we're about to watch a movie. And everything's gonna be opening again tomorrow morning. So basically all the restaurants and cafes and bars are open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But tomorrow's our last day, and then we're getting the hell out of here, and we're off to Barcelona. Hey guys, so the last clip you guys saw was us in our hotel room in Rome. Literally, like an hour after I stopped recording, we found out that all of Italy is officially on a lockdown. That also meant that there was no outgoing flights. And we had a flight in the morning to Barcelona, Spain. And I remember sitting there in the bed getting an email that um, our flight to Spain has been cancelled and that there's no more flights to Spain. So in that moment, I started panicking, thinking, what? Like, there's no more flights out of Rome, Italy? Like, what do we do? Are we going to be stuck here? So we got on the phone with, like, the airline and everything. And basically what they're saying that there's still limited flights that were leaving Italy chances that we could have like gotten on one was very low so basically what we did we um, contacted we went online and I told Bay like any flight we can get out of Italy let's just do it doesn't matter where in the world it takes us from there we'll figure things out and get back home safely so we canceled the rest of our trip and thank god we did because if we would have gone to spain that was the next country to lock down and we would have been stuck there but we decided to just get out of italy and come home and not continue the rest of our trip and we left vancouver at the end of february when things were still pretty normal like there was no travel bans no travel restrictions when we got to london paris amsterdam everything was functioning normal everybody was everywhere all the tourist attractions were open like nothing was nothing seemed wrong when we got to rome it was a completely functioning city like there was people at the tourist attractions people everywhere but within 12 hours we saw it go to like nobody on the streets only police and army on the streets and they were questioning where you're going and then um our hotel even contacted us that night saying that they were shutting down the hotel and that we would have to be transferred to a different hotel which was so frightening because it's like wait what like what do you mean like where do we go we had to go to the airport and even while we were at the airport we were so stressed because all the flights on the board even the ones that said like 
um, on time were slowly starting to change to cancel, 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 cancel. And everybody was at the airport like freaking out because everybody just wanted to get out of Italy before it was too late. But thank God that flight to Greece left on time and we were able to get one of the last seats on it. And it took two days of travel to get back home safely. We ended up canceling the rest of our trip and thank God we did because if we would have gone to Barcelona, that was the next country to go on a lockdown. Um, slowly all the countries just started going on lockdowns in Europe and this was before things got worse in Canada and US. And then we were in Europe for about two weeks. It was March 13th that we came back. Originally we were supposed to come back on March 17th. So we came back four days earlier. We totally just canceled Spain, thank God. Um, otherwise we would have been stuck in Spain right now. Um, so yeah, we went to Athens, Greece. We had like a six hour layover there before we were able to get on a flight to London. And then we had to spend a night in London. And then early the next morning, we had a flight from London to Toronto and then Toronto to Vancouver. So it took two days of travel, but we're home safe. We've actually already completed our 14 days in quarantine. Um, it's now April, uh, it's just past April week. It's just been past Easter weekend. So the next few vlogs you're gonna see are gonna be more up to date and current. I just. I really hope all of you are staying safe and healthy and staying home and um, keeping social distance if you are going anywhere. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching this one, coming with us on our journey, even though our journey ended short. But we will continue to travel, hopefully one day in the future when everything's fine and well.